Hello everyone, this is Jake Letnick coming to you from my conference room in my office building and we're going to go ahead and record this video for you and it is going to be about the basis of why you use internet marketing for your network marketing company. So we're going to be using this whiteboard and we're going to be doing a lot of our videos like this from now on uh, just so that we can give you a video demonstration of uh, exactly what we're talking about in real time. So here we have your website. And this website represents your business, your store, uh, your brand, anything of that sort. Now let's say you paid a designer to make your website pretty. So you've paid, let's say, $20,000 if you're a business to make your website pretty. Now this is great. However, we live in an ocean of traffic on the web. Now, you, your website here is an island, and an island in the ocean is great if it's beautiful and it's private, but if no one knows how to get there, there's no point in having a $20,000 pretty website. Now, I hope this makes sense to you, because if you pay $20,000 for a pretty website by a designer, you're not going to be getting any business. You're not going to be getting any traffic, so you're not going to be making any sales. And the purpose of you building this website is so that you create sales. So, if we remove the pretty website that's created by a designer, and we build this island, this website, using a marketer, so you pay a marketer to design your website, it might not be as pretty, and it can be, that's the thing. You can make your site as pretty as you want. It just takes time and takes some work. But the benefit of having this website here is that you're going to be able to have search engine optimization. You're going to be getting traffic from the ocean of the web to your website. Because marketers know how to use internet marketing strategies like pay-per-click or organic search engine content creation tactics, or social media and backlinks, and things like this nature, in order to generate traffic from the World Wide Web to your website. Now this is what a marketer does, it's not what a designer does. So if you're going to be wanting a pretty website, you can always ask a designer, or you can ask a marketer to build you a website and then get a designer to add pretty customizations to it. So this is basically your website, and who you should be using to build your website. Now that we have that out of the way, and you know that you want a website designed by a marketer rather than a designer, let's get into a couple of the reasons why you'll be using internet marketing for your business rather than using just uh, traditional methods such as postcards or television ads or radio ads. So the reason for you getting online, so internet marketing, is because traditional methods are dead. And I know that this might be a little bit harsh for some of you to take in right now, but traditional methods are dead. Now what I'm saying is that old marketing strategies like the radio and newsprint ads and yellow pages are still around. They're still here. Yellow pages, yellow pages, uh, radio I love my drawing skills, don't you? So, these are still around. We still see them all the time. But the, product, the, um, the efficiency, the effectiveness of these traditional marketing methods are no longer uh, valid. Everyone is basically, and I say everyone, what I mean, I say 90% of North Americans now are on some sort of social media platform, which basically means that all your market is online. Now you can still go ahead and pay $300 a year, which is not that expensive, for an ad in the yellow pages, which is passive, which is great. But the only reason why you'd be using that method and why you won't be paying $300 a year rather than paying for internet marketing is because you feel as if the cost of this is well worth it and a lot less than internet marketing costs. Now to put this in perspective, you have your traditional marketing methods, which can cost around $300, $400 a year for a small little ad 
full page marketing ads in newspapers can go range from a thousand to twenty thousand dollars just for one post. And that's just as a regular example. But in comparison, uh, traditional equals about three hundred dollars a year, typically, on average, and that's a low low ball. Internet marketing will typically run you for marketing on social media, for example, on one platform about two hundred dollars a month. Now people look at this and they say, well, $300 a year compared to $200 a month, well I'm definitely going to look at the $300 a year because it's a lot less expensive. But here's where you have to get actually calculating a little bit deeper. If you're looking at $300 a year and you get an ad in a telephone book within thousands of pages, within other different ads, and Really, honestly, if you ask yourself, how, when was the last time you went to the yellow pages to go look up where different things are offered? You don't do that anymore. You go to Google, if anything. Now, this is, this is cool because you pay $300 a year and you get this little app. Well, if anybody does go ahead and they take a look at this, then that's great. They have an exposure. However, it's passive and they're probably never going to look at that ad again. So you pay $300 a year for a couple of people to be able to see your ad which is basically like a sales pitch. And it's a small sales pitch, it's short. So $300 a year is pretty inexpensive as a whole, but when you calculate it out, per person that's coming to your business because of this, you're probably looking at higher cost per person. So if you look at your marketing here, now it's $200 a month, so if we multiply that by 12, that's going to give us $2,000, 2400 so that's $2,400 for the year. Now, this is a big difference between $300 and $2,400. However, when you're doing this way, you're constantly getting exposure. This is for one social media profile. So let's say you're using Facebook and you have a social media manager who's managing your Facebook account, who's actively working with the potential clients on there, posting every day, once or twice a day, with relevant and quality content or links to other quality content. This is active, this is passive. So we've got active, and this is passive. So passive just sits there. It goes, la 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 la, I'm sitting here and I'm pretty. While well, you have active where it's engaging your clients and people. So with this, you're going to also get a wider target market. So you're going to have a lot more people coming to your website, to your business, purchasing things. Now, because you have such a large amount of people and traffic, even though it's $2,400 for the year, rather than $300, you're building client relationships. You're taking care of public relations. You're also giving valuable content. You're getting a lot more exposure. And the cost per person is lower here than you would be getting here. Now, I hope this makes sense because this is where the shift in marketing is going. We are currently in a shift in marketing. We have gone away from traditional methods and we are moving to the online and electronic technological marketing methods. Now, if you're just getting onto the internet and you do seem to find that it is a little bit overwhelming, then that's definitely something to take into consideration that you might want to get someone else to do it for you because you have a business to run. You don't have time to waste with learning everything there is to know on the internet. Now, as technology evolves, the scary thing is that right now you might just be learning about the internet marketing and building a website and getting traffic and use the social media, but sadly enough for you is you're already behind the curve if you already are just starting to learn this. You now have a website and it's done by a marketer. You pay for a marketer so it's pretty. You're getting traffic, but now you have to get in contact with your, con with your uh, prospects on a regular basis. Typically this was done with email autoresponders. However, now email gets spammed all the time. Just like you don't answer your phone anymore because it's getting spammed. Email is now spammed. So no one really reads their emails. Most people go into their email and read about three emails, if that. So there's another way to get in contact with people and it's becoming a big rage and 
because we have larger uh, capacities and, um, for our telephones, for example, our cellular devices, everything now is no longer going from, to email. If you want to be successful with the current marketing strategies, you need to go mobile. Now what do I mean by mobile? I mean iPhone 4, I mean HTC's, I mean Android's, I mean any smartphone that you are able to use in order to access the web and the network. Now, the reason why I say this is because about 90% of people, and I know I like 90%, but that's typically what it is, 90% of people right now are using a mobile phone or device. And it's typically, right now, there's about 34% of North American youth that are watching TV on their phone. Now, 30% of youth, North American youth, use their phone to watch TV. This means that 30% of the target market, if you're targeting youth, are going to be on the phones watching TV and not watching TV or radio. 90% are watching YouTube on their phones. Does this kind of make any sense to you? I hope it does, because right now, if you're not marketing or putting ads up on Facebook, on YouTube, and yes, you can put ads on these places. If you're not putting ads on here, you're screwed. If you want to run a successful business, you need to be on social media platforms, ad advertising on there. Now back to mobile. Most people are going to no longer be requiring the use of their desktop computers. Most people are using their phones or their iPads or some sort of other device. 30% uh, of Amazon's book sales this year were due to the, the, the Kindle, which is a Basically, it's a, a pad where you have a screen and you're reading your books. You download the books from Amazon and you read them on your electronic device. Now, I hope this is making sense. And I'm going to cut it short now because I don't want to go too long. I'm kind of going on a little bit more of a rant than anything. But basically, I want to get through to you that traditional methods are dead. And you need to be... I can't get this stuff right now. And you've got to be, and this equals dead, you need to be online. Now, if this means you need to cut out your traditional methods of marketing, yellow page ads, magazines, print outs, radio ads, television ads, then do it. Move the money that you're already spending here and move it into here. This is dead. It's no longer effective. You need online. So move your money into where it's working. Now, I hope this is going to be helpful for some of you, especially business owners, because this needs to get through to you. And I'm actually starting to get sick and tired of sitting down with one on ones with people and trying to convince them that this is the way things are going. If you don't want to be convinced and you don't understand this and you really want to have nothing to do with it, I don't care. I don't want to talk to you. If, however, this makes sense to you and you want to learn more information, go ahead and contact me and I'll be more than happy to help you. I give a lot of my time away, which is valuable to me, to people who are wanting help and are sincerely wanting to change. So if you want to get some mentoring and some help, give me a call and I'll be willing to help you out. If not, then you can really I just go away. But, yeah. Anyway, so this has been JP, like, JP the PJ Marketer. Dot com uh, with my little rant. <laughs>